In this PowerPoint tutorial, I want to share with you my favorite PowerPoint keyboard shortcuts. And I'm going to focus on two different aspects of PowerPoint. First, we're going to look at keyboard shortcuts that are great when you're actually presenting. And then I'll show you a few that are helpful when you're creating your PowerPoint. So first, I want to get into presentation mode. And I'll give you a bonus keyboard shortcut right now for how to get into presentation mode. Once your presentation is ready to be shared, what most people do is they go down here to the lower right and they click this button to start the slideshow. Others go up here to the slideshow tab and click from beginning. And those are good ways to start a slideshow, but there is a little bit faster method and that is to simply tap the F5 key across the top of your keyboard. No matter which slide you're working on, no matter where you are in your slides, if you tap F5, it should take you to the very beginning of the slideshow and start the slideshow. Now what if that's not what you want? Maybe you've been showing your slideshow and then you exit the slideshow temporarily and maybe show the audience something else and then you want to start the slideshow up again but on the current slide, not at the beginning. In that case, all you do is hold Shift and tap F5 and that resumes the slideshow on the current slide. Okay, great. So I'm gonna tap F5 to start the presentation at the beginning. The next PowerPoint keyboard shortcut I wanna share with you helps you navigate in your presentation. So most people know that spacebar and enter and the right arrow on the keyboard, those all advance your presentation. The back arrow on the keyboard takes your presentation one slide back each time you tap on the back arrow. But what if you want to jump from slide one, in this case, all the way to slide six? If you want to do that, all you have to do is tap the number six on the keyboard and tap enter on the keyboard, and that takes you directly to slide six. What if I want slide four? Tap four and enter. Slide one, one and enter, two and enter. Whatever slide you would like to jump to, just tap that number key and then tap enter. So that's great. Now that also works with double digit numbers. So if you have a slide 12, type in one, two, tap enter. If you have 50 slides, type in slide 45, hit enter, it takes you to slide 45. So that's great. But what about those times when you're not sure which slide you want to jump to? Maybe your presentation is a little bit longer and it's hard to know which number to enter. All you have to do is hold Control and tap S and that gives you a pop-up that lists all of your slides with their slide titles and the slide number. So I would like to jump to this particular slide. I use the arrow keys to go up and down to select it and then I tap enter on the keyboard. It takes me directly to that slide. Now as you're presenting, at times you may not want the content of the slide to actually show up in front of your audience quite yet. So let's say I want to not show the audience this particular slide quite yet. There's a keyboard shortcut, actually four of them, that you can use. You can just tap the B key on the keyboard, or if you prefer, the period key. And that gives you a black screen. So it hides the current slide until you're ready, and then you can just tap B again to toggle it back on. If you don't like black as a background, you can tap W, and it gives you a white screen. And if you prefer, instead of W, you can use the comma key. Another helpful keyboard shortcut is the virtual laser pointer. If you hold the control key and then click with the mouse on the screen, you get a virtual laser pointer. Now why would you ever need this or want this? Because sometimes when you're presenting, you want to draw the audience's attention to a certain word or to a part of the slide, and it can be hard to do that, but the virtual laser pointer helps you out with that. You can also draw on a slide by holding the control key and tapping P, it turns your mouse pointer into a pen, in this case a red pen, and I can draw all over this presentation as much as I would like. Now if I advance the slide with the arrow key, the pen marks do go away, but if I come back to that slide, the pen marks are still there. So if you want to get rid of the pen marks completely, just tap the E key on the keyboard, and it erases them. A similar keyboard shortcut is Control i That gives you a highlighter pen, and so you can use your mouse to click and drag and highlight words or different parts of your slide. And similar to the pen, 
it remains there on the screen unless you tap E. So we've looked at several presentation keyboard shortcuts that are great when you're actually presenting. Now if you forget some of these options, there's another keyboard shortcut that will help you out. All you have to do when you're presenting is hold the shift key and tap F10. And that gives you a pop-up with a lot of these presentation options and shortcuts. So you can see the pointer options are here. There are some screen options, black screen, white screen. You can zoom in on a part of your presentation. And you can also click to see all slides and then jump to a particular slide that you would like to focus on. So those are my favorite PowerPoint keyboard shortcuts for when I'm actually presenting. But what about some keyboard shortcuts for when I'm creating my presentation? Well, let's look at some examples. And most of these that I like have to do with text formatting. So for example, here I have the word El Barco. Instead of just typing it in normal text, I would like to bold the word El Barco. So I'm going to hold the control key and tap B. And then I can start typing El Barco. And you can see it is in bold. To end the bold, I do control B again, and then I can type, and you can see that now it's not in bold. So that's a handy keyboard shortcut. It keeps my hands on the keyboard instead of using the mouse, and it makes me more efficient as I type. A similar keyboard shortcut is control I for italicize. So if I type now, you can see it's in italics. And a third option is control U for underline. Now you notice the mistake I made. I have not been undoing the bold and the italics, and so I need to go in and hold control, tap B to get out of bold, hold control and tap I to get out of italics. And now if I type, I just get underlined text. So control B, control I, and control U. Those are helpful when you're creating your presentation to keep your hands on the keyboard and to be able to work as efficiently as possible. My last best PowerPoint keyboard shortcut that I'd like to share with you today is for spell check. As you can see here, I've misspelled a word. All I have to do to start spell check is tap the F7 key across the top of the screen and it starts up the spell check. And I can just go ahead and ignore that or I can fix it. So just like all of these shortcuts, of course, I could do that using the mouse. I could just go up here to review and start my spell check. But just knowing some of these keyboard shortcuts will really make your use of PowerPoint more enjoyable, more efficient, and more effective. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media accounts like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, please click the bell next to the subscribe button. If you do that, you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel, consider becoming a supporter of mine through my Patreon account. And you'll find links to that in the description below.